Hi, it's Lindsay from Buy, Sell, Love, Durham. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Tuesday morning market update. It's my opportunity weekly to share with Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington just what's happening with real estate. Um, I'm standing here in front of one of my favorite places in Oshawa, which is the Simcoe Hall Settlement House. This is such a great resource for the community. And a lot of what they do here is uh, give food back to the community. They have a food bank. And we, which is Wendy and I at Buy, Sell, Love, Durham, we're doing a food drive. So I'll put a link in the bottom of this video on how you can actually donate food, but they desperately need food. And we do this every year. Actually, we do it a couple times a year. And the last time we had over a thousand pounds of food that we donated, which is awesome. So before we jump into the numbers, I wanted to talk a little bit about an article I read yesterday in the New York Times uh, newspaper, the Sunday edition. And it talked about what they said was people were having uh, issues with only short viewings of houses so a buyer only has 30 minutes to get into a house and make a decision and in fact here we've seen it where it's been limited down to 15 minutes and they said that a large percentage of the buyers had misgivings on the houses that they purchased so they were second guessing the houses that they purchased the article said a third of the people bought a house that needed more work than they really thought it was going to, to need 31 percent wish they had bought bigger and 21 percent wish that they had overpaid which is kind of silly because if you bought two months ago you've made money so even if you overpaid two months ago you still have money in the bank so what i've done is i've tagged in a blog post to this article talking a little bit about how a buyer can avoid making those mistakes kind of a little short checklist on how to go through a process to make sure that when you buy something that you're buying the right thing so let's just jump straight into the numbers in the last seven days we've had 193 homes come to market that's up from 34 from the week before. So 34 more homes hit the market. We've had 22 homes leave the market sold conditionally and 144 homes leave the market sold firm. So in total, we had 166 houses sell. That's up 27 from the week before. If you are planning on getting your home sold, I'm gonna suggest this. Find a full-time agent that's got lots of experience. I've got a property that we're doing offers on this afternoon. We had 150 showings on it. And um, I could tell the agents coming through the door at the open house yesterday, the ones that were professional, that knew exactly what they were doing. And there's a lot of ones that I wouldn't say the same thing about it. So if you're going to buy, buy a house in this market, pick the best, most seasoned agent you can. If you're going to sell your house, the same thing. Best agent you can. They're the agents that will help negotiate you the best deal. If you've got any questions about this information, I can be reached at 905 area code 743-5555, or you can catch me here at the email address at the bottom of the screen. Have a great week, Oshawa, Whippy, and Clarendon.